Hello, how you all doing Mike Bradley? Hope you're doing well as always. Now, about a year ago, I posted a video about kind of ear training and I, I think I played some chords and notes and whatnot and kind of uh, did a little test for you so you could try and work your ears. And if you haven't seen it, I'll put a link up there now and it'll banner will pop up. Um, definitely worth checking out. And I thought I'd just talk about the subject again because um, it's very, very important. Now, I get so many comments on videos, and thank you as well for all the comments, it means a lot, and I, it's lovely reading them, the, the good and the bad ones, sometimes they make me chuckle. A lot of times they make me chuckle, actually. And one of the most common questions I get is, can you tab out what you just did there, or that lick you play, can you do the tab for it, or something like that, you know. And I always think, you know, guys, like, use these. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you want to get these going to get going, especially if you do want to be a professional guitar player. Now, the kind of tips and that what I'm going to talk about today is not just if you want to be, you know, make a career of being a guitarist, even just being, you know, a regular Joe playing with your mates, um, you know, having a band on a weekend, whatever, you know, the love of playing guitar or music for that matter. It's still really, really important to have your ears going, you know, and be able to work songs out by ear. Now, an example, um, last week I had to learn 60 songs for the weekend that I've just gone. And um, 40 in particular was very important. I had, a, I had a gig on Saturday and I had to play 40 songs. It was all Motown stuff and some lots of different parts and whatnot with it. Um, and out of those 40 songs, I knew like four. And when I say knew, I kind of, you know, I can bluff it, you know. But um, yeah, I had a lot of songs, and then I had another project going as well where I needed to know another 20. So that was 60 songs I needed to learn, in, and I had like five days to learn them. Because uh, I always leave everything to the last minute. Um, and I worked everything out by ear, and that was, you know, listen to the song, and, you know, hearing the key, and then understanding the theory, how it all works, but sometimes, you know, modulations and key changes, all that kind of stuff. So it's all just sitting there, and working the song out. Now of course there are guitar, tab, website and all that kind of stuff but 99% of the time they're wrong. You know, so a long time ago I just stopped looking at them um, and just try and work it out by ear. And I got quite quick at it now but um, even still there's still stuff where you know I'm sitting there like what the hell is that? <laughs> you know and I'm kind of rewinding, rewinding and you know but eventually you go over something enough and you're gonna get it. So some little tips which I can't remember I talked about in the previous video, but listening to the bass note of the song if you're working out the chords, you know, listen to those bass notes. Um, first of all, even to get the key, um, even if you just want to, you know, jam over something, work out what the key is so then you can just, you know, have a good noodle on top. But sit there, listen to the bass notes, and then does something sound happy? Does it sound sad? If it's happy, it's a major chord. If it's sad, it's a minor chord, etc, etc. Now regarding notes, um, yeah, again, just sitting there, rewinding it back and forth until you hear <laughs> and get everything you need to get, you know. So what I want to do now, I'm going to play a little idea, I don't know what I'm going to play yet. Um, G is the key of the day, let's say. I'm going to do something in G and um, I want you to learn it. I'm not going to say what fret I'm on uh, or anything like that, I'm just going to play a little you know, lick in G. And then actually it'd be really cool, come to think of it, if could, unfortunately you can't submit videos in the comment section below anymore, no, those video reply things. So if you do a little video and post it over to my Facebook page, and it'd be cool to see if you got it, all right? Now if you really want to test yourself, don't, no, look away, don't look at the video, what I'm about to play, so you don't see my fingers, but there's nothing wrong with that. You know, it's another thing, if you're working stuff out and you're watching things on YouTube and you have the ability to watch whatever guitar player you're watching, you can see their fingers, that helps, but you're still, you know, using your ears to work everything out there, you know. So, but if you really want to do an ultimate test, look away. So, uh, I'm not going to do any close up, I'm just going to leave it like this and see if you can work this out. Hopefully, you can, it won't be too hard. Do it slow as well, so a little bit slower. Mm -hmm. 
So I've worked that, and yeah, if you can, do a little video on your phone or whatever, post over to my Facebook, it'd be cool to see uh, how you get on with it. And don't just, obviously, you know, it's important to get the notes right, but listen to the feel and the phrase and everything, you know, bit a bit a bit you know, so try that, try singing it. If you can sing it or hum it or whatever, even if you're in a different key, uh, but the phrasing, all those little things are important. So like I say guys, I can't stress enough the importance of getting your ears. So the next time you're watching something on YouTube and you think, oh, I want the tab for that, stuff that, just sit there, even if it takes like, five hours, you know, uh, just to work out one phrase, so what? Just, you just keep at it, you know? So, I mean, another example. Let me just put my amp back on. Um, you know, so I've got a progression here. kind of classic cowboy chords kind of stuff there, right? Or pop song. So you want to listen to the beginning. Mm, you want to hear that first one. So you're hearing that G bass note. And now does that sound happy? Or does it sound sad? Hopefully you can hear it sounds gay. <laughs> happy and gay, alright? Is it without an or as you can see obviously but the first chord is a minor chord, alright? Then we go into the D there. So even if you just listen to the boom 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 you know so I'm listening to those root notes once you get that it's a lot easier then to work out what the chords are of course you know knowing a little bit of theory behind that with the harmonized major scale which I've spoken about before in videos so do look back you know once you have that idea as well is that once you know about how chords are kind of, uh, chord progressions are made up that makes life a lot easier as well. But yeah, listen to that root note and then establish does it sound happy, does it sound sad, all that kind of stuff, you know. But uh, with our little lick, okay, get that down, do a video, pop over to Facebook and uh, let me know um, if you got on with it well, okay, <laughs> if you worked it out. But I'd love to see how you all get on. But uh, yeah, I just thought I'd just talk a little bit and um, highlight the importance uh, if you want to be, you know, a, a good working guitar player or just, you know, get, boost your guitar playing abilities up. Getting your ears going is so, so important, you know, and uh, you can communicate well with players because you can, you know, say um, you wanted to, I don't know, say to someone, or if someone said to you actually, Here's an idea, here's a lick, and I just hummed it. You know, you can, <laughs> you can work it out, you know. Da. So. That, that was kind of why. There you go, alright? So you can kind of then hum, it, hum something. Work it out what the notes are on the guitar, because your ears are da, and you go that way. So I'm rambling now. Anyway, it's just so important. <laughs> anyway, guys, hope really, really well, and I will see you uh, Friday. Take care, Mike Brady. Sign out. <laughs>